if you yearn for deep fellowship with your Creator, if you desire to know Him intimately and to walk with Him and to breathe with Him, though you may not look, though you may look like a failure and have made innumerable blunders, then you are well on the road to discipleship. Maybe that would eliminate over 50% of the people who say they're Christians. See, the bottom line is, it doesn't mean what I do. It doesn't mean so much what I say. It isn't how well I sing. It isn't how clever I am. It's all about my heart. It's all about your heart, ladies and gentlemen. Again, are you somebody who has an insatiable appetite to know God? See, it's one thing to get the things of God. But it's another thing to get to know God and to want God for himself. That's the one distinguishing thing about uh, Moses that I love. No matter how many miracles he experienced with God, he always wanted to see God. He always wanted to, what, see his glory. He always wanted to know God. He was a murderer. He wasn't perfect. Didn't even get to go to the promised land. But here's a man that walked with God. Let's look at another brother, David. Was an Old Testament individual who knew God and walked with God. Did God say David was a man who lived in purity all the days of his life? No. But God said that David was a man after his own heart. As we see in Psalms, David had a hunger for God. He said, My heart long of yea, fainteth for the living God. As the heart panteth after the water brook, so panteth my soul for thee, O God. Despite David's failures and backsliding, he was hungry and thirsty for God. In church history, right back to the beginning, we find that the mark of a true disciple, a true man or woman of God, is a hunger to know God and His righteousness. I would, I would dare ask, if you don't have this hunger, you should ask whether or not you're even a Christian. See, in the Bible it talks about in Matthew 7, there's going to be many people who are going to say, Lord, Lord, we did this in your name, we did that in your name. And guess what? I venture to say that the things that they did and said was valid and true. But what did Jesus say? He said, he said, he's going to tell them, get thee behind me, for I never, what, knew you. Because, see, check this out. They did all of those things in the name of Jesus. But guess what? It was done for their own satisfaction. It was good. It was done for them to look good. And guess what? The word of God stands true. And it's going to yield fruit. But the bottom line was that, guess what? It wasn't done in the strength of Jesus. It was done in the strength of self.